Someone commented on my last YouTube video and told me to watch Sigma's origin story backwards because there's apparently some hidden messaging. So I'm going to see what that's all about. I'm nervous. Release me. Release me. Trying to listen. Hold it together? Make it stop? I think he said to get together as well. Something is a harness? It's in me? Hold it together? Oh my gosh. Whoa. Yeah, melody. Because he says, what is that melody? Melody is a harness. I want to see. I'm sure that it's going to be all in the comments. Release me. Enough's enough. I should have lost it. Hold it together. None deserve me, my dear. Oh, I guess I missed so many of them. It was super, super good. The first watch through, whenever you watch it just the normal way, but to even know that there's hidden messaging in it backwards, it makes me, I feel like, even have more respect for the origin story in itself. That was phenomenal. So actually in my latest YouTube video where I react to Sigma's origin story just as it is normally, I did read some pretty interesting comments and I wanted to read this one because I feel like it gave me a little bit more backstory. I don't know how legit all of this is. Um, there were all, like 25 likes on it. So, you know, a lot of people were also agreeing with it. Um, if you guys want to clear up any confusion, feel free to respond to things in the comments as well. It's from Kellobite. Also, Sigma isn't evil or bad. What he is, is that he's being manipulated by the evil people. He is clinically insane, so he doesn't fully understand what he's doing. And in Overwatch 2 in-game voice lines, you can hear that all the Talon members, Reaper, Moira, Doomfist, etc., are trying to please him. They are the ones that freed him from prison and are just trying to be on his good side, completely manipulating him so that he does their bad actions for them. The only person that has compassion Passion to Sigma's situation is Sombra. Sombra is a master manipulator too. She can easily see what's happening with Sigma. So with her interactions with Sigma, Sombra acts as kind of like a big sister slash motherly role to Sigma. She doesn't want him to be mistreated. She has his back, but of course staying silent that he, Sigma, is being completely used. In Sigma's view, these people rescued him. They're sponsoring his research. They're overall very friendly with him, which is most seen with Moira and Sigma's interactions where Moira is just being nice because because he's so important to their evil organization, Talon. When speaking to Overwatch characters, Sigma can't believe that the people who freed him from jail are evil, and he won't accept that because of the hospitality that was shown and continued to be shown to him. I feel bad because he's obviously being manipulated and he's being used, and that's actually really sad. And then even watching it backwards, you hear him say things like, release me, and I'm wondering, I'm wondering what sort of things if they've done experiments on him, and there's things that have happened to him that have been done by those other Talon members. I'm sorry, by the way, if I'm saying that wrong, Talon, Talon, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming it's Talon. 
What did you guys think about watching the origin story backwards? Have you ever watched it before? Was it your first time? What things kind of stuck out to you? Is there anything that I missed? I love reading comments about people who point out things that I missed. And obviously a lot of you guys have a lot more knowledge than I do. So I would love any feedback or any personal opinions. If there's anything that you guys want to point out yourselves that you find really, really cool, please comment it down below so that I can read it. I will be reacting to the Overwatch 2 origin stories, Ramatra, Kiriko, Sojourn, and Junker Queen. That will be in a part three. Also, if you made it to the end of the video, first of all, thank you for being here. Second of all, I want some advice on a Overwatch series to do on YouTube. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions of fun Overwatch videos, I used to do a road to diamond series in valorant where i went all the way from i believe it was silver up to diamond in valorant so if you guys have any specific series that you would like to see me do on my channel please let me know in the comments i would love to hear some feedback but yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed the video if you guys did like it definitely drop a sub a like a comment turn on notifications all that good stuff and i will see you guys in the next video